<laughs> it's a sunny and cheer comedy hour. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sonny and Cher. No, thank you very much. You know, you're, you're, you're great, as always. And I, it's just a thrill for me to hear an applause, you know that, Cher? Because er, ever since I was a little kid in Detroit, I... What are you doing, warming up or what? <laughs> ever since I was a little kid in Detroit, I always wanted to be a singer. Batter up. <laughs> Come on, Cher, no jokes. I, you, you never had to fight your way up as a singer. I, for me, it was uphill all the way. It all still way. is. <laughs> You know, you're lucky you didn't come from a tough neighborhood. When, uh, when I went to practice my singing, uh, six tough guys would always pick me up and, and throw me in the Detroit River. Well, that explains it, sweetheart. What, my determination? No, your shrinkage. <laughs> Pay attention, because here, here comes a good part. This is really interesting. It really was. I mean, I, I used to do these, and these guys would throw me in the river. And I guess the main inspiration for, for uh, me being up here now, which makes you very fortunate, is, uh, is that one day, one day, this wonderful person came along, Cher. His name was Father Callahan. And he picked me up, and he pulled me out of the river. And this great man, he turned to those six tough hooligans. And you know what he called them? Music critics. <laughs> no, no, no. No. no, that's not what he called them. Now be serious about my boyhood, all right? It's your manhood I can't be serious about. <laughs> I got him, Mother. I'll get you. Yeah? Don't hold your breath. <laughs> anyway, this Father... Yeah? Yeah. Father Callahan was a great, great man. And what, what, what happened, Cher? Was, what, let me I don't you. know. Do you know what happened? Yeah, I know what I want... Well, what, what happened then? 
what happened here was, I said to Father Callahan, I said, Father Callahan, I want to be a singer. I said that. I mean, I want to be a singer. <laughs> Why didn't you say, Father Callahan, I want to be a singer? <laughs> That's what I said. I said, Father Callahan. You were taking Marlon Brando lessons, right? Yeah. Father Callahan, I don't want to be a singer. I don't want to be a singer. Father Callahan, I want to be a singer. Father Callahan, I want to be a singer. I want to be Marlon Brando first. All right. <laughs> then he said, put on your high heel sneakers, sonny, and work out. Anyway, I said to this man, Father Callahan. Father Callahan, right. I want to be a singer. And you Faith and Bigor. And you know what he said? He looked at me and he said, Sing, son. And I did, Cher. I sat down and I sang. I sang to that wonderful man for an hour. Every song I ever knew, I sang to him. And when I was finished, he just, he didn't make a sound, but he had a look on his face that was amazing. <laughs> it was just sheer enjoyment. Or shock. <laughs> then, then he did a remarkable thing, Cher. He threw you back in the river. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> That's the nastiest remark I ever heard. It's not Saturday night. No, it isn't, but I'm warming up. I don't want to jump into anything too hasty. I want I to graduate. It's Thursday, and tomorrow I'll be better. Oh, good. Anyway, um... <laughs> anyway, now I got to talk about Father Callahan again. <laughs> Anyway, right. I, I did this. I sang to him, and he, he, he sat there in this amazement. And then the good father got up, and he said, Son, after hearing you sing, I'll never be the same. <laughs> and do you know what became of Father Callahan, Cher? Yes, he became a rabbi. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce the famous Ferrisopolis brothers and their amazing swords. Ho! Ho! 